I greet in the name of Jesus. This is the time, a wonderful time of studying the Bible. Yes, Hashim. Praise Jesus. Uh, we studied the Bible for a few minutes. A few minutes. For a short while. But it has life. It has life. So today you are going to start a new topic. You are going to start a new topic. But before we start a new topic, I want to have a recap of what we learned previously. We're going to have a recap of the previous teaching. Who can tell me what we have been studying in the Bible? What have we been studying? In Hambara, in Hambara, yo mo. Spiritual warfare. So we've been learning about spiritual warfare. God bless you. So give a hand clap to Dan because he gave the right answer. I have another question. Now in that spiritual warfare. Harichanditzkwe. Yeah, there is a scripture that we are supposed to memorize. There is a scripture we are supposed to have memorized. Uh, I mentioned these three times. I, I, actually, I talked about two times personally. And also Moses mentioned this. And uh, he requested that uh, it should be memorized. Now, which, which is that scripture we're supposed to memorize concerning spiritual warfare? Jeremy. Hallelujah. Amen. First John 4 4, so let him paraphrase it. Children, you belong to God. And you have overcome. Because the one who is in us is greater than the one who is in, in the world. So give him a hand We have no other way of memorizing. So it is really good to keep that in your mind. And it helps you in prayer. You you to remember, even though you are still young. But the one who is in you is greater than the one you are struggling with who yes, is in the world. So praise Jesus indeed. So who can tell me who are we fighting against? Uh, who are we fighting against in that warfare? And what are the armorer of the one we are fighting against? So you will mention who he is and the armorer that he uses. Amen. micro. So the Bible tells us in Ephesians chapter 6, verse uh, 12. Now, good channel, eh? Now, chonda kusubirira mo bibirira tugira ngo. Bibirira tubwira ngo abefeso ibice bitandatu murongo wa 12 ngo kuko tudakirana nabafita maraso numubiri wahubwo dukirana nabatware tukirana ingabo zande umuntu turwana nawe ninde kwanza ni satani intwaro ze nizihe akorera hehe 
akorera mu bafite ubutware mu bafite ubutware mu bafite ubushobozi bafite ubushobozi nabategeka isi y'umwijima imyuka itegeka isi y'umwijima ni imyuka yo hejuru ni imyuka mibi yo hejuru mu kirere mu muhamashi yesashimwe cyane umuntu turwana nawe muri zo ntambara ninde ni satani so we fight uh -huh. we fight with the, the devil in that spiritual warfare atuziziki ko turabana b'Imana he fights against us just because we are children of Jeremiah atubwiye ngo ariko duhumure turabana bato kandi uri muri twebwe aruta cyane uri mwisi and Jeremiah told us that we are children and the one who is in us is greater than the one who is in the world yes ashimwe cyane first jesus said akanyuma so the last one ninde wambira intwaro so who dukoresha twebwe the weapons that we use intwaro zo kurwana dukoresha twebwe the armor that we use to fight jean luc yesa shimwe amen intwaro dukoresha tuzisanga mu efeso ibice bitandatu tuzisanga mu efeso ibice bitandatu so the armor we use gatatu yego harimo kwizera kwizera ukiranuka gukiranuka ijambo ry'Imana ijambo ry'Imana kuvuga ubutumwa kuvuga ubutumwa ukuri ukuri eh no gukiranuka no gukiranuka wakuvuze agakiza mumere yesa amashikubwe murakoze cyane icyo kwa ari kugira ngo turebe ko igika turangije tukize so we wanted to ensure that we remember what we have been studying ntuzongere kugira ubwoba bw'intambara zikugeraho so you should not be afraid of the battles that you encounter uri mu ruhande rwa waruta cyane kurwanya because the one who is on your side is greater than the one who fights Uyumu against sirero, you so today therefore utangiye topic insha we are starting a new topic kubana neza about good relationships imibanire myiza good relationships Mubirebye neza ndabikurikiranya. So if you look at it closely, we are sequencing this. Twatangiye tubona tumaze kumenya hano mu rusengero tumaze kumenya Yesu icyo yakoze ku musaraba. We started by looking at what Jesus did on the cross. Umaze kumenya icyo Yesu yakoze ku musaraba. Now, once you are aware of what Jesus did on the cross, ni byiza kumenya yuko utarahugaramye ngo wabonye agakiza hari umwanzu ugira. Ah, you don't have just to sit back and think that you you do not have an enemy because actually you have an enemy rero, now the third thing now once you have understood there is an enemy and that you are fighting on the side of the winning team chose, on whatever can come to you zimana, when you have the armor of god nyine, so which means that you are supposed to have them chinu chinu now there is the third thing which is on the heart of god ubusabane bwacu n'Imana ndetse nubwo abantu nabandi our relationship with god and relationship with others hari kintu nanditse bakinshire kuri screen hari something kimwe nakoze nifuza ngo muyimenye uh, we wrote this down and we wanted to project this so that you are able to know it imibanire yacu n'Imana ndetse n'imibanire yacu abantu nabandi ifita gaciro kanini n'uruhare rutari rutoya mu kuduhindura abigishwa beza ba Yesu no kwamamaza inkuru nziza y'ubwami bw'Imana ntitukayihinyure cyangwa ngo tuyirenze amaso so our relationship with god and our relationship with others uh, it is of great value and it has a significant contribution in making us disciples of jesus so when you are a child of god it is good that you have come to your father's home it is wonderful that our father in heaven knows you but it is not enough he requires something concerning you not concerning himself but the good thing he helps you in that and something else which is important that concerns every christian is the relationship with his father is the way you relate to the father i tell your neighbor the way you relate to your father in because relationship means having relationship so that, that means relationship that means relationship Iba imana ntiba muri isale ntiba nituye muri isale so god does not dwell in this hall imana ntabwo ituye mu rugo rwawe gusa a god does not dwell in your home only imana yaje gutura muri wowe so god has come to dwell in you 
kandi ntabwo yaje kwirirwa ikureba gusa and he's not just there to always looking at you ni data ashaka ko mubana he's your father and he wants to have a communion kuri cyane rero ubusabane bwawe na data ni ikintu gikomeye and your relationship with the father is very important ariko data we ntagarukiraho but the father does not stop from there akohereza kubandi he also sends you to others the father does not stop from there directement ukigera mu muryango w'abana b'Imana arakubwira ati aha hantu naha mwese so immediately once you are part of the family he tells you that this place belongs to all of you yes ashimwe cyane let's just say rekare wo dusome icyambere yesu yatwunze uyu murimo w'ubusabane cyangwa kubana neza tubanze dushime tubona ho byanditse ko yesu niwe watwunze na data so let's first of all see how Jesus reconciled ourselves to God. We are going to read this. So I want to remind you this friend. Uh, I plead with you so please buy something on which to write down. Because whenever we talk about class it means writing down. So your brain does not have the capacity to retain everything. So let's read. So we're going to read in 2 Corinthians chapter 5 from verse 18 to 20 binyuze muri Kristo ikaduha umurimo natwe wo kuyunga nabandi kuko muri Kristo ari mu Imana yiyunge nabari mu isi nti yabikibabaraho ibicumuro byabo kandi noneho irangije gukora ko kazi yatubikije ijambo ry'umwuzura cyangwa ijambo ryo guhuza bituma tuba nicyo gituma tuba intumwa mu kimbo cya Kristo ndetse bisa naho imana ibingingira muri twe nuko rero turabahenda henda mu kimbo cya Kristo kugira ngo mwiyunge ni imana imana ishimwe mu cyongereza all this is from god who reconciled us to himself through christ and gave us the ministry of reconciliation that goes was reconciling the world to himself in christ not counting people's sins against them and he has committed us to us the message of reconciliation we are therefore Christ's ambassadors as though god as, as as though god were making his appeal through us we implore you on Christ's behalf be reconciled to god yes ashim praise jesus ikintu cyambere ukwiriye kumenya mu ishuri so the first thing you're supposed to know in a class muri ishuri kugira ngo hanze ubishyire mu bikorwa in this class so that you are able to put it into practice outside uwakunze ni imana wari umwanzi w'imana ariko wakugaruye mu rugo akakunga ni kristo so you were, used to be an enemy with god but the one who reconciled yourself to god is christ paul yavugariye amagambo hejuru when paul is saying this yerekana neza uburyo nta muntu akibona tudakwiriye kubona dukurikije ibisekuruza bya uh, actually saying you are not supposed to look at our genealogies kubwira umuntu nguru umusinga uh, to tell a person you come from this particular Urumega, tribe or another tribe cyangwa ho aturukuru umuzungu or let me say you are white uri umwarabu or you are an arab ni tugikwiriye turi muri famiye y'Imana ni dukwiriye kureba umuntu dukurikije aho aturuka so when you are in the family of god you are not supposed to look at people through their origins agahita avuga ngo rero and then he says twese twaraje all of us we have Kristo yatwegeranije n'Imana and Christ has brought us closer to God yaratwunze and he reconciled ourselves dufite amahoro hamwe na papa uh, we have peace together with our father aya mahoro avuze ikintu kinene so that peace means something significant kugira amahoro hamwe na papa no kuvuga nta mwenda tugifite nta rubanza so in other words we are no longer condemned we do not have yaragize akavuga ati byo bintu byavuye kuri Kristo and then in the end he says all this came from Christ no kugira ngo uyu munsi ufite amahoro cyangwa uri mu rugo rwa tata hari umuntu byaturutseho so if you have peace today if you are your father's home there is someone else who akakwigisha rera tari kuwa muntu akugarura mu rugo akunga na papa ntabwo yabigize ngo wiyicarire and then he says when he reconciled you to the father he did not do it so that you sit back yabigiriye ngo nawe utangire wunge imana nabandi bantu he did it so that you also start reconciling people to god who is still listening to me 
imiyoborere myiza irakwangaja wowe nange ko natwe turi ambassadeur bo guhuza dufite ijambo ryo guhuza guhuza abantu n'Imana so uh, in this reconciliation ministry we have also the message of reconcil- reconciliation between people and god icyamere rero umenya mu mibanire imana igusaba umenye neza ko nawe wagira ubuntu uzanwa mu rugo kwa data nka wa mwana w'ikirara ni Yesu wabikoze so you also had the privilege to come to your father's home like the way the prodigal son was brought back and it is jesus who did this ndiwo ndabahi byanditswe byo kubwiriza abantu so i'm giving you scriptures that will help you to preach to others iyo uri kubwiriza when you are preaching to an intelligent person who wants to know the bible it is important to quote this scripture. when you realize that he is attentive to know the reason why yes, Jesus is supposed to come murugo. and because Jesus brought you back home yes, amaze data rero. now once Jesus had reconciled ourselves Haru to God there is another ministry that he did so let's read this in Ephesians chapter 2 13 to 16 I want you to lay this on your heart Hari kindi kintu gikomeye buri ya Yesu yakoze si kukubabarira ibyaha gusa nibicumuro There is something else important that Jesus did apart from forgiving your sins and iniquities Yesu yakoze undi muri mutangaje Jesus did another amazing work Urukuta rw'ubwanzi yararuhiritse Because he removed the wall of of, of hostility Amen Ariko none kuko muri muri Kristo Yesu mwebwa bari kurekera wowe nanje twigijwe hafi namaraso ya Kristo ibyo tubimenye uwo niwe mahoro yacu kuko yahinduye twebwe ababiri kuba umuntu umwe akuraho iki akuraho iki akuraho iki ari bwoki ari bwo rusika rwari hagati yacu rutugabanya hanyuma maze gukuza ha mategeko n'ibyimihango umubiri we kugira ngo bababiri cyangwa ya mahanga abiri cyangwa babantu babiri cyangwa babashamiranye batatu cyangwa abareme mu muntu umwe mushya muri we ngo azane amahoro acyo kandi ngo bombi abagira umubiri umwe abungishe n'Imana umusaraba awicishije bwa bwanze umusaraba uraza wica ikintu cyose kigutandukanya na mwene somera Yesu amashi so give her a hand clap to jesus because the, the cross came to remove everything that separates you from the father yeah but now in christ jesus you were once far away have been brought near by the blood of christ for he himself is our peace who has made the two groups one and has destroyed the barrier the dividing wall of hostility by setting aside his flesh the, uh, the law with its commands and regulations his purpose was to create in himself one new humanity out of the two thus making peace and in one body to reconcile both of them to go through the cross by which he put to death his hostility Yesu yaje gusana nimibe nimibanire. So Jesus came to restore our relationships. Ni amahamvu tugira ubushobozi twemera dutinyuka kubwira umugore no mugabo ngo birashoboka ko mwakumvikana. And that is why we dare to tell a husband and a wife that it is possible that we can have a good relationship. So I've just taken an example that you know because of divorces. Now for two people who believe in Jesus, it should not be impossible. Yes, yatanze imbaraga zibishobora. Because Jesus gave power that enables to do. Yes, ntabwo yatobabariye ibyo hagusa. Yes, yatwunze n'Imana arangije adushyira mu kintu cyo kwakirana, kwihanganirana, gushobora, birashoboka, birashoboka. Bwira mugenzi wango birashoboka. So not only Jesus forgave our sins, but he also enabled us to have such good relationships and to work together. Ntabwo bivuga kutazangana. It doesn't mean that you not have an issue with someone else. Ndaje tuvuge ibintu bituba hagati. Actually we are going to talk about the barriers. Ariko 
But it is possible. Jesus brought that power. And this is the message I have for you this Jesus brought the power so that the Hudu can live with the Tutsi. So give a hand clap to Jesus. Because we who are in Jesus Christ will no longer think about one another through our genealogies. I'm giving you that example because we are in the context. So for those who have Jesus, they are able to handle those things. Not because they were born uh, uh, many people. But the blood of Jesus enables us us to receive such things in addition no, to the God, we have so it means when you fail to do so when you fail to do so uh, first of all you need to acknowledge that you have a problem because God is expecting from you to accept God is expecting you to destroy that dividing wall using the blood of Jesus yes Hashim Praise Jesus. And now, because the genocide was something tragic, it may be easy to say. It. But let's look at the example of a husband and wife. Yes, there should be no division between a Christian and another. And when it happens to you, you need to check your heart and say, Jesus, how, if you dwell in me, how comes I'm, I may not be able to bear with another person? Now, because you dwell in me, you need to know that it is an issue. Beloved, it is an issue. Jesus has come to destroy that dividing wall of hostility between you and another person. Who is happy because of this? Because you have the power. I'm not just narrating a story. It starts saying, I'm not abnormal. This is not normal. Because Jesus has come to restore our relationship with others. Whatever your husband may be. Whatever your wife may be. Whatever your brethren may be. The power that enables you to have good relationships is other. So when you realize that you are not able to bear with someone else. Uh, to welcome a person or whatever. And then we, when you check in your heart, you realize that there's that issue. You should know that your prayers are not reaching to heaven. I'm quoting the Bible. Amen. So let's proceed. Mm-hmm. So the last thing I want to talk about Now we are going to read in Rwanda and those who have Bibles in other languages you can read at the same time. So the measure at which you love others it shows the, the measure at which you love God. The way you love others it is the same measure that shows your love to uh, this is the Bible study. This is not my own opinion. Let me tell you where I'm taking this from. So in 1 John chapter 4 from verse 20 to 21 He says in John chapter 4 verse 20 to 21 He says in verse 20 to 21 Kandi dufite iritegeko ryavuye kuri yo ngo ukunda imana nakunde mwene semera Yesu amashyi So give a hand clap to Jesus Reka nkomeze vuba So let me proceed Nubwo satani yongera kabyinjiramo kuko ni wubizana ariko ubundi itegeko ry'Imana ridusaba ngo tubane neza So even though the devil interferes but the law of God requires us to have good relationships Reka nisomera baroma 13:18 kugira ngo nshyigikire ko igipimukunda n'Imana so I want to show you that the measure or the level at which you love God. You cannot love people more than the way you love God. 
The same way you love God. The level you have reached at in loving God. The same way you love people. So let me explain this. If a person says you I love God but I want to stay at home I don't want to gather with others. If the, that person doesn't want to meet with other brethren so give that person this scripture. Because there is no way you can love God and go away from your brethren. It is the Bible. So in uh, Romans uh, 13 from 8 to 10. Romans 13 from 8 to 10. Nukifuze na yandi mategeko yose bihurira muri rijambo ngo ukunde mugenzi wawe nkuko wikunda ufite urukundo ntagirira mugenzi we nabi nico gituma urukundo ari rwo rusohoza iki amategeko yose so love fulfills the, is a fulfillment of the law so in the relationship among people so the one who steals the one who kills the one who commits fornication the one who has lust towards another person's wife or lust towards another person's car this is what the law says so what it means in one word is selfishness amen amen it, what actually it means is this is what God wants us to mention so there are certain things that the devil brings that divides us with other people I'm going to list certain things now the homework that we have so the homework that we have I can't request you to write it down the things you realize that are related to you so here are the things that divide us with uh, God and our brethren. Our jealousy, our boasting, anger, uh, conflict, our selfishness that brings all the things we mentioned, our uh, lacking mercy or compassion, our uh, wicked lust. Gusebanya, a slander, a macha kubiri, a division, kuyemera, a boasting, kuesha, a lying, gutukana, blasphemy, ubusambo, a greed, uh, greed, ube, 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 ube and lack of wisdom. So I mentioned a few things. But you may realize that you have like four things. I may realize that I have eight things. So if we are learning uh, to align ourselves to what we are learning, you who is seated, you should ask yourself what brings conflict often between me and others. Beloved, as I tell you this, not ignoring that there are people who go away from others so that they don't have conflict. So please look at me. Is that wisdom? That's not wisdom. It's just your personal strategy. It is your personal strategy. But it is not really healing. So when you are going to meet with them, or when God puts you among people, uh, definitely there will be something that can bring a conflict between you and others. Because you are still here in the world. But God is requesting you, as a Christian, no, Jesus remove that dividing wall of hostility. So what brings conflict often between you and others? When you are among students or maybe if we are together with your wife or together with your husband or if you are here in the God's ministry or if you are in a particular place where people are gathered because our habits are exposed where others are that is why even our habits are also exposed through seasons uh, because we have some habits which are hidden but God can set a particular season to expose the habits of the earth. So now we are going to wind up remembering this. 
umwanzi Yesu yararuhiritse So the dividing wall of hostility has been destroyed by Jesus It is possible that what can bring a conflict between you and another person is able to be removed So do not go away from who you are Who is listening to me you know there are people who go away from who they are so stern and face that face yourself in the mirror and say for example Mary this is what I do oh, this brings conflict between you and others or oh, this particular issue because the dividing wall of hostility has been destroyed by Jesus praise Jesus amen so the scripture that we are going to memorize indunduro reka mbanze nyisome tumenye neza ko ubusabane dufitanye n'Imana nibwo bwonyine nkomoko cyangwa imbaraga zituma tubana neza nabandi so our relationship with god is the power and the source that enables us to have good relationships with others iyo dashinze imizi muri kristo so if you are not rooted in jesus christ tinye imvugo ya kristo and uh, have reverence for for what jesus says it is possible that they can have conflicts with others. Hallelujah. So one thing can, that can prevent you from having conflict or if you have conflicts that so that you are able to get rid of them is to go to the light, to join the light of Jesus. And this is where I can stand and say confidently that a wife and husband can have a good relationship. Because a person who has the light, a person who accepts to be challenged, when we are accept to be challenged in every relationship, uh, I'm talking about high wives and husbands because Because it is possible to have a good relationship. Uh, so there's something else of lacking patience. Uh, there are times you have good bad relationships with others because you are lacking patience. So now the verse to memorize. So, so we are going to read it together and then pray. So I can request that's all of us. Read. So I will be reading and then you repeat. And uh, this scripture will accompany us as we learn about this topic. So this passage you are going to memorize it and you need to meditate on it you need to, um, to meditate on it and ask yourself about your relationship with God how do you relate with God how do you relate with people which problems do you encounter with people does it happen often does that mean that God does not love you no definitely he loves you but there is something that God is telling you there is something that God is telling you so I'm going to read and then he repeat. No, Kono Yani Turo Yawe Kujichaniro. Do Suviremo. No, Kono Yani Turo Yawe Kujichaniro. Okay, Woka Kom Nene Sohari Chomupfa. Okay, Woka Kohari Chupfa Nam Nene So. O Singi Turo Yawe Mbereji Chaniro. Ubanzu gende wikiranure na mwene so uhere kugaruka uturi turo ryawe Mumereye samaji Give a hand clap to Jesus Ni ngombwa kwicyo cyanditswe tugifata mu mutwe It is important to memorize this scripture Kuko nukuri kuva mu ijuru Because this is the truth from heaven Kiransinda I'm, I'm really challenged by this passage. And I know you are also challenged as well. So whenever you're going to pray, and your heart tells you that you have something against your workmate, your classmate, or another person, leave your offering there. Uh, put your prayer on hold. But you need to know how you need to destroy that dividing wall of hostility between you and your brethren. This is the word of God. So brethren, may God enable us 
uko imana ibona itorero n'umukristo so we'll continue this journey to the point of seeing how god looks at the church of a christian ni ryari twitwa ko twacumuye kwitorero and when do we sin against the church ese yo twacumuye kwitorero dukuri iki and when we have sinned against the church what do we do umwuka wera zadushoboza and the holy spirit will enable us munyemere mbasengere so allow me to pray for you natwe twisengere as we pray for ourselves mwami imana ishobora byose mu izina rya Yesu Kristo tugushimiye ko uyu munsi intambwe zawe kuri omega zitugejeje aho wifuza ko tureba uburyo tukubaniye uburyo tubaniye uburyo tubana na bene data kugira ngo mana winjire mu byacu niba tukwemereye ubashe kwinjira mu byacu ubashe kwinjira mu buvandimwe bwacu ubashe kwinjira mu bushuti bwacu ubashe kwinjira mu mago yacu ubashe kwinjira mu buhereza bwacu urebe ni buryo ki tubana nabandi kugira ngo mana duhitemo kugendera mu kuri kwawe duhitemo kugenda nkuko uvuga tubona ubugingo twumvise ijambo ryawe ritanga ubuzima ijambo ryawe niwe mutsima ubugingo reko umutsima mwami ubone umwanya muri twe kandi imibiri yacu iwo processinge Mwami yemere iryo jambo kandi rikore rikore ribyara ubuzima ushimwe icyo bari ni kuzo bibya mu izina rya Yesu uvuga ngo amen turi mu mwanya wo kwiga bibilia this is the time to study the bible Eh, ubushize twatangiye eh, temensha ivuga ku busabane cyangwa imibanire yacu n'Imana n'imibanire yacu n'abantu uh, last time we started a new topic about uh, our relationship with God and others kuko tumaze kumenya iyo maze gukizwa ukamenya igikorwa Yesu yakoze ku musaraba because once you are saved and aware of what Jesus did on the cross ukamenya neza ko mu buzima hari umwanzu kurwanya and know very well that you have enemy in this life ariyo mpamvu twize intambara zo mu mwuka which is the reason why we learned about the spiritual warfare ikindi kintu cyanje ku mutima mbone umuntu akwiriye kumenya something else that uh, was laid on my heart that you are supposed to know nuburyo bana ni imana is how you relate with god ufite agaciro gakomeye cyane mu rugendo rwawe it is precious in your journey hanyuma nuburyo ubanira abantu and the way you relate to others abantu barakomeye ku mana because uh, people are precious to god imana yivuga abantu itangirana nabo mu bana so when god talks about people he starts with those who live with you abo mu bana aho uri hose uh, wherever you are Yes ashimwe cyane. Praise Jesus indeed. Uyu munsi rero twabonye ko Yesu yatwunze n'Imana. So we saw that Jesus reconciled ourselves to God. Ndagira ngo ubizirikane Yesu ni wo guhuje n'Imana. So keep this in your heart it is Jesus who reconciled you to God. Hanyuma rangije atwunga na aduha umurimo ku mwunga nabantu. And he also gave us a reconciliation ministry with people. Wo wicha yahunga ufite umurimo wo kunga Imana nabantu. So you who is seated here you have a ministry to reconcile people with God. Ufite umurimo wo kunga Imana nabantu. You have a ministry of reconciling God with people. Bibabaza Imana iyo tumye abantu bigira yahubwo. Ah so it grieves God when you make people go away. Niba wunga Imana nabantu. So if you reconcile people with God. Imvugo yawe. So your language. Inyifato yawe. Your character or habit, your lifestyle uh, can make people go away from God. Iyo tuvuze rero ngo tukunga Imana nabantu suko tuvuga ubutumwa gusa. So when we say that we reconcile people with God it is not just about preaching only. Ubuzima bwacu but our lives aho turi hose wherever we are abo tubana nabo bose and the people we live with bushobora kwegereza abantu imana cyangwa bikigiza y'Imana so they it may draw people closer to God or make them go away from niyo mpamvu ni ngombwa kumenya kubanira abantu so that is why it is important to know how you relate with others harije dutsinda uburyo tubanira abantu bo mu rugo Uh, so there is a way we have victory in the way we relate with people in our homes imana ikabishima and god is pleased with that ako twatera intambwe hanze but when we make a step outside bikatunanira we fail to do so bikatunanira we fail to do it imana idufashe cyane may god help us uyu munsi rero turareba reconciliation yacu ko tu reconcilia imana nabantu so today you are going to see how we reconcile good to people imana rero tuyegeranya nabantu mu buryo tuyihamya 
So we draw God closer to people the way we testify about him. And the way we relate with others, it also testifies this. So when we are preaching, at the same time we are testifying God. When we share our testimonies, we are testifying this. This is the responsibility of each and every person. Every person who has Jesus is in the Lord and Savior. This is a responsibility you also have your way of preaching to others without necessarily standing here I praise me to God so as human beings you may say it is not easy to reconcile ourselves with others it is not easy to reconcile with people but remember that everything is possible to get at Jesus. Uh, remember that if you do not have Jesus, uh, to be in good terms with people, it is difficult. And that is why we are learning about this. And that is why we learn this in the church. Because we have a person who enables us. And even though you fail to do it sometimes, but it is possible. And and even though at times you fail to do it, but it is possible. Together with Jesus, it is possible to have good relationships with people. Uh, you may say it is uh, easy to have a good relationship with my brother, but with my wife it is becoming impossible. Or you may say I can have good relationships with my co-workers, but when I reach home it becomes difficult. Or you may say, I have good relationships with people outside, but I'm confused in the church. So now the good news that we have. So there is one person who enables you to have good relationships with people. He is the same. Jesus Christ. Give a hand clap to Jesus. So if you are able to do it at your workplace and even at home so it means that you can also do it in the church because Jesus works in us and he continues to dwell in us. So it is Emmanuel, God in us. So he is able to reconcile you to people. But it requires your will. Hallelujah. So you cannot reconcile you to others if you are not willing to do so. So to reconcile to a person and to reconcile with people having good relationships with people it is the will. It is your will. So the will means that there are deeds and actions that shows that you are, you are deliberate to do it. How comes it is difficult? Uh, it is not easy because where there are people there are conflicts. Where there are people there are conflicts. Yes, Hashim. Praise Jesus. It is a servant of God called Charles Spurgeon. So those conflicts that we are mentioning are inevitable among people. However, uh, having a conflict to a point they reach into a strife or a fight, that is a choice. No option. It is a choice. It is your choice. So it is a choice you make to say, I'm going to have a conflict with a person, but you should not end up fighting. How comes God requires to have good relationships with other? So first of all, God knows that at times we offend people. And at times are also offended by others. Who agrees with me? So everybody is affected by this. We are also grieved by people when they are not even aware. We also offend others when you are not even aware that we have done so. But there is something more heavy. 
is to offend somebody deliberately or intentionally. So it can be an incident, but when you do it deliberately, it grieves God. This is the Bible study. And we are learning how God looks at things. You should not offend somebody deliberately. You should not intentionally apply to offend somebody. Because a heart that has Jesus, uh, I like saying that it glitters or shines. It, it gives signals. Uh, at times, maybe something, we can do something out of your control. But in the sight of God, you should not do it intentionally. Or say, because he has done this for me, I'm going to retaliate. Or because they have done this, I'm going to retaliate. It is wicked in God's sight. And this should lead you to go before God and ask for forgiveness. So the fact that we offend people and they offend us back, it doesn't please God. God is not pleased that there is a barrier between you and your wife or a relative or even a, a co-worker or someone else. I want you to know this first that the God is not pleased with that. God is not pleased when you have a conflict with somebody. And God is expecting you to do your best in order to reconcile uh, to do your part in order to reconcile to that person. You should not accept that there is an obstacle so, we saw that Jesus destroyed the dividing wall. So, that wall that was destroyed between us and the Father by Jesus. So, when he dwells in us, he enables us to, to destroy such that dividing wall. Uh, tell your neighbor that it is possible to reconcile. Yes, Hashim. Praise Jesus. How comes God cares about our relationship with people? It's because a relationship with people can distort somebody's life. So the way you relate with another person, the way you relate with others, or the way people relate to us, there are people who can be broken in their emotions just because of another person. Praise Jesus indeed. Uh, whether they have the truth or not. Uh, they may be having the truth or not. So this concerns God. God is concerned about this. Uh, God is not pleased when people are in confrontation. Or to bring trouble where you work. Uh, and God is not pleased when he gives you a job and you have a hard time in that job. So God is concerned so with this. Uh, God is concerned about this. So your, our emotions... So the reason why God is expecting us to address this issue in three ways, asking for forgiveness, receiving forgiveness, and also forgiving others. So those are three acts that a child of God is supposed to experience in his life. You are supposed to know what forgiveness means and you should know what it means to ask for forgiveness. You should also know what it means to receive forgiveness. And you also need to, to know how to forgive once you have been uh, offended. How so at times people are offended uh, whether uh, they have done something right or, or not. Uh, because at times you may feel offended when actually heaven is not supporting you. Because you may offend yourself. And also you may be offended for a right reason. In one way or the other. And this is how God resolves it. Because emotions 
hano nagerageje kwegeranya ngo dukire so brings forth different things we are going to look at so that we can be healed ibikubabaza bikugeraho bishobora kukuremerera kugezaho byagutera ibi bikurikira so what comes to you can uh, overburden you to a point it can bring the following consequences hari giye ushobora kubabara ukivumbura so at times you may be grieved and you decide to be icyo kubabaje kikakujyana kwivumbura and what have offended you makes you kwivumbura bikaguha kureka kazi and for example you may quit a job because of that kwivumbura bikakujyana kureka ishuri or you can even quit and uh, leave your school kwivumbura bikagutera gutera umugongo uwo mwashakanye or turn your back to the to, to your spouse kwivumbura bikagutera kwangana or even hate others kwivumbura bikagutera kuba wenyine or to be lonely or isolate yourself birashobora kukwangisha abantu so it can even make you hate others ushobora kuba barakugeza igihe ufata ikemezo cyo kwanga abantu you may be grieved to a point you decide to hate others ushobora kuba bazwa no umuntu kugeza igihe utizera abantu and you can be offended by a person to a point that you no longer trust others ushobora kuba bara kugeza igihe uvuga naba abantu and uh, you can be grieved to a point so you start swindling turaba bara tukabeshirana and at times you are offended and lie to one another hari gihe haba no ruvange mu maranga mutima twita depression and at times there is confusion in our emotions that leads to depression hari ababa bara bagatekereza 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 bakananirwa kurya and are those who are grieved to a point they even fail to eat gutekereza bene data tutari kumwe ni imana nibibi so it is really wicked to think when you are not with god hallelujah ja witondere ibyo utekereza so be careful about what you think kuko mu ntekerezo because in thoughts zinjizwe numubabaro uh, that come from anger satana tugira inama uh, it is the time the devil uses to give us bad ko hano ndiho mbivuga hari abatarahura nabyo i know as i speak about this maybe some people have not encountered with this ariko sinemera ko hari utarahura nabyo but i don't think there is no one who has never experienced this kubabazwa numuntu to be offended by another kubabazwa nabantu to be offended by people guhemukirwa uh, to be offended in one way or the other ibyo bikaduhurwa aho rwo kuba babi and that gives us room to be bad people ntabwo ufite kuri mu maso y'Imana actually what you're doing is not right in God's sight ubundi yo twahemukiwe because when we have been offended twibwira yuko nyine turi victim we think that we are victim ni batureke turire and we say people let the other people let us read and weep hari ya kuruhande and give uh, go, go on the, uh, the side zose satana ashobora kugushuka all the different uh, attitudes that the devil can use to deceive you kumanira kureba uti mwana wanjye urababaye a god can see and see that you are grieved ariko burya imana igira imbabazi ariko iri na just so god is merciful but at the same time god is just uziyo tuvuze ngo imana igira ubutabera so when we say that god has justice ntabwo ishima ibitari byo gushima he does not please what is not worthy irazi kakubwira ati kuri rurarira he can say of course you are weeping ariko aho bikujyanye simpemera but where it is leading you i do not agree with it that that. and the attitude it is giving you i'm not pleased with it ndacyari kumwe namwe are we still together torero rya kristo so the church of christ we mukaho hano so you need to shift from that place nubwo wababajwe even though you have been grieved nubwo wahemukiwe even though you have been offended rinda umutima wa udakora nabi so guard your heart so that you do not rinda umutima wa udafata ibyemezo bituma imana ikureba ikavuga ati he utumiye kabiri baguhemukiye ariko nawe wishize mu kibazo so guard your heart to a point you do not do something wrong where god can say you have done wrong things twice you have been offended umutima, so grief in the heart kwiteye uh, that we caused uh, dutewe nabantu or maybe when it is coming from others ishaka kugutera gutekereza kugeza igihe uhahamuka so it can make you think a lot to a point you are traumatized ugahunga abantu or we have anxiety sinshaka kwinjira mu ngero so i don't want to give examples zabantu ushobora gusanga amazi cyumweru munzu ati sinshaka kubonana n'umuntu where you find we may find a person has spent a whole week in the house and saying i do not want to meet with people bijya biba bibi cyane and sometimes it can even be worse kugeza aho abantu biyahura at a point where people can commit suicide buri abantu biyahura no people who commit suicide hari kiganiro baba bagiranye na satani so first of all is the conversation they have with the devil hara hantu umuryango satan injiriramo so there is a door that the devil uses akakwereka ko ntacyo uri cyo and shows you that you are unworthy ntacyo maze you are useless ibyo ukora byose ntacyo bivuze and everything that you do is in vain nande tsabantu barabibona and actually even people are seeing this ndese urabona ukuntu bakubona and you can say don't you see how people are aho kuba barabigezaho so now instead of grieving to that level just put it to an end nuko twabonye abantu biyahura and this is how we see people committing suicide bakundwa 
so beloved uh, committing suicide is a sin but those who commit suicide they reach there when they have gone through a journey of thinking uh, another thing that our relationships are not supposed to overburden us at times it can even bring uh, physical sicknesses so your body can fall sick when the door are the problems that you have in your heart and that is why God in his love towards us he doesn't uh, want us to have such sicknesses that come from anxiety. Yes, Ashim. Praise Jesus. Uh, those who have um, heart pressure, it's not necessarily because of what they eat. Or those who have stomach issues, it does not necessarily mean that it's only an issue of the stomach. I quoted a few, but there are so many. So those who go crazy and taken to the hospitals are not just because they are crazy for the So um, emotions in, in which where Jesus is not in to fine tune them, they, it can lead to physical sicknesses. So in a short while, I told you about uh, committing suicide. The, 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 I think we know uh, an example in the Bible of somebody who committed suicide. Uh, Judah Iscariot. Do you know the reason why he committed suicide? Yasanze achidi rubanza atanze utari rubanza. Actually, he realized that he had uh, handed over a person who is not guilty. Yose, and he realized that everything he had done was in vain. Satan abarinji. And then the devil entered into Vuguti his life. Satan. Say the devil. Ninguanga kume nyuko satan azamunhe chirezuza. So it is important that you are aware of how the devil attacks you. Ninguanga kume nyuko satan agutera we we ni ne muchumba na na handi waji. And how the devil attacks you when you are alone in your room. You dari manik. So he, Judas Iscariot, decided to hang himself. Harundi nzimuri bibiria we manit. I know another person also who hanged himself. Aito fedi. Uh, so he was boastful. And he used to give very good uh, uh, pieces of advice to the king. So another point, he went to Absalom and uh, gave an advice. So he started giving him pieces of advice. And then David prayed so that God can interfere with his advice. And God did so. And God did it. And then the day he gave an advice to Absalom. So the so-called king. And then his advice was rejected. And actually even the people who were close to Absalom said his advice is no good. So immediately he hanged himself. So I want to tell you God is very much concerned about our thoughts and the way we relate with others. And God knows that the way you think it is the same way you relate with others. So no one will know exactly what you think and no one will help you to know that you have been attacked by the devil in your thoughts. So you are best placed to know that in a short while you are with Jesus like Peter, for example, but now have changed I'm with the devil. So no one can escape from that. Uh, the same way uh, Peter said Jesus is the son of the living God. And then he said you are not supposed to go to Jerusalem. So just one person? So the same way to us, it is possible. Amen. So it, is not, it is not surprising, it is not the fact that I come for that. But we should not continue to say that we are always in the spirit. So it is up to you to know when you backslide. So this is how we solve issues. So I'm going to talk about three things before I wind up. So God desires that we reconcile with others. So asking for forgiveness. So let's read about this. 
ugomba kuba umuntu Kristo zigusaba imbabazi. You are supposed to be a Christian who knows how to ask for forgiveness. Ndabizi ko gusaba imbabazi bisaba guca bugufi. I know that asking for forgiveness requires to be humble. Kandi gusaba imbabazi ntabwo tubigirira uwo dusaba imbabazi. And we do not do it only for the one we are asking for forgiveness. Nano gato bigirira kuvivura. And we do not do it just to tick that person. Ngoma na sibyo usaba sinabikoze. And say oh God isn't it what you ask and I have done it? No sabe imbabazi bumunya kuri imbere y'Imana. So when you ask for forgiveness be honest before Kwanza sabe imbabazi ikintu wemera kugisabira imbabazi. Actually you should ask for forgiveness when you are aware that you are supposed Umwana to. Umwana w'Imana kwiriye kwiga kwivaho gasaba imbabazi. So a child of God is supposed to accept to humble himself and ask. Imana ishako dusaba imbabazi kugira ngo hataba umuzi wo gusharira. So God expects us to ask for forgiveness so that there is no root of bitterness. Ahantu hatabaye imbabazi hamera umuzi usharira. And where there is no forgiveness there is a root of bitterness. Umwanditsi wa Bahebura yaravuze ngo mwitonde benshi batabe infecte nuwo muzi. And uh, the author of Hebrews said uh, take heed so that many are not affected Kandari by that. Kandi ikibazo cyari gukemurwa mwisi y'umwuka mwisogondi mwe gusa. And when actually that issue was supposed to be solved in the spiritual realm in Isa the umwana w'Imana kuvuga ngo iveho bugufi emera uruhare rwawe uvuge so it requires a child of god to humble himself and accept his responsibility and speak out are we still together church biraruhije it is difficult hari abantu bemera kwimanika no kuri ibintu biteye ubwoba hejuru yuko batasaba imbabazi there are people who accept to hang themselves and even pay a high price but Even though Judas hung himself. Ariko nti mushobora kwibaza impamvu Imana itubwira gusaba imbabazi. But you should not you should ask yourself the reason why God asks us to Ije ask. Ije hata imbabazi habibibazo. It's because Bitazarangira. When there are no forgiveness there are endless problems. Imana mwijuri yibire bibishaka kubiturinda. And God in heaven he wants to prevent us from facing such issues. Reka dusome. So let's read. Ariko ni twaturi bizaha byacu. If we confess our sins. Niyo yo kwizerwa kandi ikirano kirakutubabarira ibyaha byacu no kutwezaho gukiranirwa kose. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. Ndagira ngo nkubwire. So I want to tell you. Imana ishaka ko wiga gusaba imbabazi. God wants you to learn how to ask for forgiveness. Aha nga turacyari gusaba imbabazi Imana. Here we are still asking for forgiveness from God. Ariko nitwigira imbere tuzareba restitution. But uh, as we proceed we will Tuzareba look at restitution. how to ask for forgiveness from God. It is a test that God gives us. Because if you are not able to move from that step uh, actually you, it affects your heart. You know asking for forgiveness it happens in the spiritual world. It happens in the spirit. It is not something of people. But it is an act we do to submit to Jesus. Usaba Imana imbabazi uyibwira uti Imana mfasha nige gusaba imbabazi nungirira ubuntu nkabonaho nacumuye. Uh, so you need to say oh Lord help me to learn to ask for forgiveness when I become aware that I have done Reka nkongere rero aha ntuzasaba imbabazi guko abantu baguhata ko wakoshesha. And actually you should not ask for forgiveness because people are putting pressure on you because oh, you have done something. Wrong. Because that also will oh, not be bene benefit to you. Ugomba gusaba imbabazi unezeza abandi. You should not ask for forgiveness just to please others. Usaba imbabazi guko wa kiwe uruhare rwawe uh, you ask for forgiveness because you are aware of your contribution urakoze guha yesa amashyi thank you for giving a uh, hand to jesus ni wowe it is up to you we are doing it for your own interest. and you are reconciling yourself with heaven yes ashim praise jesus mukwiriye kwicara muzi ngo imana irababarira bene data so you should be aware that god forgives umuntu usaba imbabazi abivanye ku mutima when you ask for forgiveness when it actually really imana irahanagura so god is able Able to wipe out that. And now the people are the ones who continue to be the same. Especially when it is a sin that you have committed publicly. But at that time you have already reconciled yourself. So the second thing are receiving forgiveness. So we're going to read in Luke chapter 5 from verse 22 to 23 and 25. Maze Yesu amenye ibyo biburanya. Arababaza ati muri buranye iki mu mitima yanyu icyoroshye ni ikihe nukuvuga nti ibyaha bya urabibabariwe cyangwa nti byukugende 25 murako kanya 
abyuka imbere yabo wa wundi warurwaye yikorera ingobyi yararyamyeho atahahimbaza Jesus knew what they were thinking and asked why are you thinking these things in your heart which is easier to say your sins are forgiven or to say get up and walk 25 immediately he stood up in front of them took what he had been laying on and went home praising God Yes Hashim praise Jesus when you are asking for forgiveness Iman, uh, to God, yeah, you are supposed to believe that you've been forgiven. So believing that you've been forgiven, it is just, not just a feeling that you have. It is not just an emotion. So whenever you remember the wrong things that you have done, you should not think that God did not forgive you. Hallelujah. Amen. So remembering the wrong things that you did, it is the devil who reminds you. It has no relationship with the fact that you have asked When you ask for God's forgiveness about something, when this really comes from your heart, I'm saying when the Holy Spirit has shown to you your contribution, you need to believe that you've been forgiven. Believe that you're at peace with God. Believe in this. You should not even try to add something. No, You don't have to pay something. You have asked for God's forgiveness. And you may also be seated by the Holy Spirit when you're walking and you feel that you have done something wrong. So I'm emphasizing on this. So in counseling, I've seen Christians who have failed to receive God's forgiveness. Because this, it is the devil behind it. When you have asked for God's forgiveness, you should be aware that you have received forgiveness. So now, if you have repented indeed, you are supposed to bear fruits of forgiveness. That is another journey uh, of you and God. So the last thing, uh, uh, forgiving. So let's read Psalm uh, uh, 33 11 because I have it as well. So, uh, so let's uh, talk about uh, forgiving. Uh, Matthew uh, 6, uh, 14, 15. Why do we are we supposed to forgive? Uh, or why are we supposed to ask for forgiveness? Uh, there is also another story. Uh, God expects you to give forgiveness when no one else has asked for your forgiveness. I think at times we may say in our hearts that uh, this is not just for God. Uh, but uh, the Bible says in Ephesians 4 so as a child of God, even when another person has offended you, the, you are supposed to forgive that person immediately because you are supposed to release everything. You do it for Jesus. You are not doing it for that person. And God expects you to do that for so that you release. Uh, so that you do not, so in order to set free that person, you need to set free that person. You need to set free that person. Uh, so it is giving, uh, releasing people's debts. Uh, so remember the, the parable of the unmerciful servant who was forgiven and went up beating us. So you need to You may say, you know, he did something beyond measure, but it is your responsibility to forgive. It is your responsibility And you should not say, how should I forgive somebody who did not approach me to ask for forgiveness? But in all situations, you are supposed to forgive. Uh, this is an important teaching. And uh, unfortunately, that's what the, the Bible requires us to do. Uh, at times, we, we are silent because we are being challenged inside. 
mutabarira abantu ibyaha byabo na so mu ijuru atazababarira namwe ariko ni mu ni mu babarira abantu na so nawe kuko ni mu babarira abantu ibyaha byanyu so mu ijuru azababarira namwe ariko ni mutabarira abantu na so nawe ntazababarira ibyaha byanyu turo turi ga bibiliya so we are learning about the bible it says for if you forgive other people when they sin against you your heavenly father will also forgive you but if you do not forgive others their sins your father will not forgive your sins. So you and I request that God forgives us. All the mistakes that we do all day long. Or even big mistakes that we do throughout the day. Or even heavy sins that we commit. So the forgiveness that we are expecting. So the Bible requires you to forgive others as well. Is there someone who is receiving this? May Jesus do good to us. Amen. So I'm coming to the end. Nuko Peter aramwegera aramubaza ati data buje mwene data nangirira nabi nzamubabarire kangahe. Ngeze karindwi urumva aho yigereje. Yesu aramusubiza ati sinkubwiye yuko ugeza karindwi ahubwo ugeze karindwi inshuro eh na karindwi. And then Peter came to Jesus and asked, Lord, how many times shall I forgive my brother or sister who sins against me? Up to seven times? Jesus answered, I tell you, not seven times, but 77 times. So what did Jesus want to tell you and I? When it reaches to a point of reconciling to others, you should not say I'm being required to forgive so many times. It is possible that you may say that I'm being asked to, ask to uh, forgive many times. And you may also ask yourself um, how many times am I going to forgive them? But when Jesus uh, said this, and he knew that this is what heals us, so continue, keep on continuing forgiving. Keep on forgiving. Uh, uh, I'm aware that what I'm telling is difficult. But the good thing, this is the good news. Uh, we do not do this on our own. Always, you tell Jesus, I'm failing to forgive. You can say, Jesus, I'm failing to forgive. Tell Jesus, I'm failing to do it. Uh, to show you how he does it. Hallelujah. It is Jesus who does it. And it is Jesus who gives us patience towards us. And he's the one who said, you should not come before me when your hands are defiled because you are accused. So instead of accusing, you need to forgive. Instead of having an accusing attitude, you need to forgive. Please forgive. Babarira. Forgive. And beyond forgiving, uh, many times as possible, it's because you are making a step together with God. And heaven is pleasing. So whenever we do something according to the will of God, uh, we are becoming children who are pleasing God. So let's pray to God. So based on what you've heard, please align. Mwami Imani ishobora byose mu izina rya Yesu Kristo tugushimire. Mwami utwigishije amagambo adutsinda amagambo ariko yawe mazima yukuri y'ubwenge. Mwami uba mu ijambo ryawe. Gutanga imbabazi gusaba imbabazi kwakira imbabazi ninzira wadushyiriyeho kugira ngo twiyunge nabantu kandi tukunge nabantu mwami imana ishobora byose nta kintu wadusabye kiruhije kuko nubundi umwuka wawe ni wuza muri twe akabidushoboza mwami ndagushimira yuko ushoboza umuntu wese wiyemeza uyu munsi kuvuga ngo ngiye kubabarira nakira imbabazi ngiye gutanga imbabazi mana bishoboza umuntu wese uguhamagara afite ubushake bwo guhinduka mana reka nkwereke ibiturushya byose mu munsi mwami abana babantu dukunda gutekereza ko abandi baturuhije ariko mwami tugarura umunsi ku munsi twibuka ya magambo yawe
twibuke ko icyo dushakaho ari uguhora tubohora abandi icyo dushakaho no kubohora abandi icyo dushakaho no kubohora abandi urakoze kudushoboza urakoze kubyumva urakoze kutambu kukagenda genda muri twe ugasana ibyari byarononekaye ukatwunga nawe kandi ukatwunga nabantu icyubahiro ni kuzo turabigushubije mu izina rya Yesu amen Mukaweranda kunyotewe Wiruganze murije Unyigishe umindure Unyiyobore Mekuri njange jose Ungezu kushaka Mukaweranda